So today we're going to be looking at ISID ortho number three, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my guide class here. I've already set up my document. We're in the orthographic projection layer. And I'm going to take a rectangle here, and I'm going to make that 114 by 92. This is going to be the outside shape of my front view. This one's a little weird because of the perspective. The actual uh, assignment I'm giving you here is a left isometric projection, and um, it ends up being that the right side view is actually behind the object and we can't see any of it. So we're going to have to kind of uh, do some things here today to kind of get us all set up. So I'm just going to draw a vertical line here and change my origin point. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to take this and make that 48 on my X. Uh, from there I'm going to take my origin point again and change it to the opposite side, duplicate my line, and change that to negative 49. So this is going to be the inside section of my drawing and if I take my dimension line I'm going to be able to see that that is in fact 17. From here I'm going to take my line and I'm going to duplicate this line here, change my origin point to that bottom intersection. At that bottom intersection I am going to bring my line out negative 8.25 or 8 and a quarter. So um, over here in the X, negative 8.25 and then I am going to duplicate this one and bring that out in the X, 8.25. So now I've got both of those lines there and we're ready to bring in my horizontal lines. My horizontal lines are going to be a total of 15. And then I'm going to duplicate that line and make the secondary one at 25. I'm finding that from simple subtraction between the 10 and the 15, uh, 25 to my 15. Uh, from here I can take my 2D polygon in my visible class and I'm just going to trace this object with my 2D polygon tool. Drawing this in the guide class is going to make this a lot easier for us to complete the drawing without the frustration of accidentally clicking within the 2D polygon tool or uh, messing a measurement up and having to go back and fix the entire thing. And we're going to go to a hidden line. I'm going to draw a hidden line across my object and in my uh, origin point I'm going to change that to the upper left hand corner of my object making my y negative 7.